The Mohan Saulnier MS-406 was the most common French single-engine fighter of the Second World War. It saw frontline action well after the French armistice, and almost nine years after its first flight, it underwent a major and unlikely modification, showing that perhaps it could have achieved more. In 1934, the French Air Force issued a specification that requested a fighter able to fly faster than 400 km per hour in level flight. The Moran Saulnier company had been making fighter aircraft for the French Air Force even before the Great War, and they presented the MS-405-01, an innovative design that flew for the first time on August 8, 1935. In July 1937, the MS-405 was announced as having won the specification. The production version was renamed MS-406 and flew for the first time on May 20, 1938. More than 1,000 were quickly ordered by the Armée de l'Air, and the first delivery was made in September 1938. The MS-406 had several modern features, like a retractable undercarriage, an enclosed cockpit, flaps and a variable pitch propeller. Its structure was of steel framework covered in fabric, except for the forward fuselage, which was covered in aluminum. The wings and stabilizers were covered in Plymax, a sandwich material that combined plywood and aluminum, with the metal on the outside. It was powered by a liquid cool Hispano Suiza 12Y31 engine. This 12 cylinder inline engine produced 860 horsepower at sea level and drove a two speed Chauvier propeller. Later, it received a constant speed Ratier propeller. It was armed with a 20mm Hispano Suiza 404 cannon that fired through the engine hub and two wing mounted 7.5mm MAC 1934 machine guns. It carried 60 cannon shells and 300 rounds per machine gun. On the negative side, it lacked self-sealing fuel tanks and the windshield was unarmored. Its armament was considered weak and the fact that its guns froze and jammed when flying above 4000 meters did very little to improve that. At full power, the radiator couldn't cool the engine with its intakes closed, so they had to be opened, which caused more drag and slowed the Moran down. At the outbreak of the war, France had two modern fighters, the Curtis H-75A and the MS-406. There were about 300 operational Moran fighters equipping 10 fighter groups in metropolitan France. Delays in production and equipping units were in part due to the slow manufacturing of the MS-406. It took approximately twice the time to be assembled as a German BF-109. At the onset of the war, two upcoming French fighters had high potential, the Divoitine D-520 and the Block MB-152, but were still unavailable. Only about 300 D-520s and 100 MB-152s would reach the front lines before the armistice. The period between the start of the war and the Battle of France became known as the Phony War, as very little action occurred. Air combat consisted of small fighter skirmishes and reconnaissance missions. Still, during this period, Mohan pilots claimed 25 confirmed victories to the loss of 18 aircraft. Many of those victories were over reconnaissance planes. And it slowly became clear that the Mohan was inferior to the German Messerschmitt Bf 109 especially the new E version. Among other important advantages, the Bf 109 E3 was almost 90 km per hour faster than the French fighter. The German fighter also outclimbed the French and had a more powerful armament. The MS-406 was only superior in horizontal maneuverability. In this chapter it was actually outstanding, completing a 360 degree turn in about 15 seconds, more than 5 seconds faster than the German fighter. The French fighter also struggled against German bombers, especially against the faster JU-88s. But speed wasn't the only issue, as the MS-406 was also underarmed. As a clear example, on May 12, 11 406s attacked a single AG-111 bomber and had to make several passes before bringing it down. All 11 pilots had to shoot at it and ended up sharing the victory. On May 10, 1940, the Battle of France officially began. The French Armée de l'Air had 10 fighter groups equipped with more than 230 serviceable MS-406 fighters. French pilots put up a valiant fight, but the situation quickly became dire, especially with the general retreat west and the constant change of operating bases. In desperation, Mohan units were employed in a large number of ground attack missions, trying to delay the German advance, resulting in considerable losses due to AA fire. In addition, about 100 Mohan fighters were destroyed on the ground by German bombers. Occasionally successes were achieved, but in general the MS-406 was the least effective modern single-engine fighter used by the French, trailing the Divoitine D-520, the Curtis H-75 and the Block MB-152. As such, when the French surrendered on June 25, 1940, only four fighter groups were still equipped with the MS-406. According to the Armée de l'Air, about 190 enemy aircraft were shot down by MS-406 units, 
and 380 Mohan fighters were lost to all causes. A total of 1,077 had been produced. Of the 144 fighter pilots lost in the Battle of France, 75 flew it. In addition to the French pilots, several squadrons were operated by about 130 Polish airmen who had fled to France. Many fled once again, this time to Great Britain, and kept on fighting. After the armistice, most Mohain equipped units were disbanded. However, it kept being used on the front lines in Syria, Lebanon and Indochina, as well as in France as a training aircraft. But in a parallel timeline, the MS-406 achieved more success under the Finnish Air Force. Immediately following the Soviet invasion of Finland in late 1939, known as the Winter War, the Finns desperately needed fighter aircraft, and the French government promised them a large number. But those promises were never fully kept, and the Finns only got 30 MS-406 fighters that arrived in February 1940, just in time for the closing chapters of the Winter War. These Mohain fighters were equipped with only three 7.5mm machine guns, since the 20mm cannons were late and didn't arrive for a further three months. On a funny note, this three machine gun armament was only one machine gun short of the Fokker D-21's armament, the main fighter serving the Finnish Air Force during this conflict. The new Lentolife UE-28 squadron was fully equipped with Mohain fighters and, in little more than one month, its pilots flew to 188 sorties and claimed 14 aerial victories, losing only one MS-406 in return. On March 13, 1940, Finland accepted the harsh peace terms proposed by the Soviets, putting an end to hostilities. After the Winter War, the Finnish government did its best to get its hands on more fighters and reached an agreement with Germany to buy 10 captured MS-406s that arrived in Finland in early 1941. 15 more were acquired later that year, and in 1942 a further 30 MS-406s were bought directly from Vichy, France. Finland joined the German invasion of the Soviet Union and needed, once again, every possible aircraft. This conflict, called the Continuation War by the Finns, saw Mohan equipped squadrons meet some success, and nine Finnish pilots became aces while flying it. It took some time until the Mohain became hopelessly outdated. This was mainly because, initially, on the Finnish front, the Soviet Union employed few modern fighters, as they had a limited number of those and were concentrated in the main front lines to the south. The Finns faced mostly I-15s, I-16s, MiG-3s and Lag-3s. Later, they faced land lease fighters like Hurricanes and P-40s. To different extents, all those were outdated by 1943. The introduction of more modern fighters like the P-39, the Yak-9 or the LA-5 was problematic for the Finns, who decided to upgrade the MS-406 in a very imaginative way. A prototype for an improved version of the Mohain fighter was ordered in late 1942. This was to employ captured Klimov M105P engines that were used in Soviet fighters such as the Yak-1 and the Lag-3. The Klimov engine was a development of the hispano suiza 12 y 31 and had the same dimensions. Nonetheless, it was quite more powerful, producing 1100 horsepower instead of the 860 the Hispano engine did. The oil cooler used in German BF-109s was fitted and the armament was also improved by replacing the original 20mm cannon with a German Mauser MG15120. The two rifle caliber machine guns in the wings were kept. And so, a sort of Frankenstein fighter was born, with a French airframe, a Soviet engine, a German cannon and a Finnish pilot. It was designated MSV-406 and called the Merka Mohan. The name also reflected its freakish nature, as Merka in Finnish means a sort of boogeyman, a monster present in children's stories to intimidate them. Despite the unlikely combination, the Merka Mohan was a vast improvement. With a top speed at sea level of 445 km per hour and 510 km per hour at 4000 meters. It could climb to 5000 meters in 8 minutes and had a service ceiling of 10,300 meters. The values here are on the conservative side, with some sources pointing to an even larger improvement. But this transformation wasn't painless, and the change in power plant led to problems in the liquid cooling system, delaying the design's entry into combat until July 1944. Therefore, Merka Mohan saw very little action, as they became operational close to Finland's armistice. This was also a consequence of a lack of support for the project, as, meanwhile, Germany had supplied the Finns with BF-109s. Still, Sergeant Lars Hattinen was able to achieve three victories with it, the only ones ever credited with the new variant. On July 16, 1944, Hattinen shot one Yak-9 down on his first combat action with the Merka. He described the interaction this way. The MSV had proven itself to be equal to the Yak fighter. Although the latter machines were very agile and their pilots skillful in handling them, 
The Yaks did not get into a firing position during my fight with them. After the armistice, Finland kept upgrading the Morans that were left. Many were used as advanced trainers until they were all scrapped in 1952. On a further note, the Swiss Air Force operated a variant of the MS-406. It was renamed D-3800, despite being quite similar to the original Mohan. It led to an improved version with a more powerful engine, the D-3801. Despite their neutrality, the Swiss shot down both Allied and Axis aircraft with their D-3800s. The MS-406 followed the typical life cycle of a fighter aircraft that entered service a couple of years before the war. It went from being the best fighter in the world, as announced by the French during a meeting in Brussels in July 1937, to being unpopular due to the availability of more modern planes. It is thus interesting to see that an aircraft that was deemed almost hopeless against the Germans went on to fight in frontline units almost throughout the war. The design's creation also sparked the typical debates of the time. With the world changing from the old biplanes and cantilevered wing monoplanes, some still resisted the modern features that were showing up. For the French, the Morane was the first truly modern, mass-produced aircraft, and as such, it was groundbreaking. These new features were typical of a new generation of fighters that were introduced in the second half of the 1930s, such as the British Hurricane, the Soviet I-16, the Japanese Ki-27 or the German Bf-109. In a curious turn of destiny, the Morin faced them all during the war. In addition, many French pilots had their first combat experiences with the MS-406 and went on to fight in Spitfires and Yaks, some achieving a lot of success. On a final note, it is said that the engine is the heart of an aircraft, and the Finnish Merke Morin seems to prove just that. There are many examples of aircraft that were vastly improved by a change of power plant. Can you recall some more? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.